Here's a few vintage lighters. They are butane fueled, but with a flint igniter. Here is the first one. One of my favorites. It's really, really reliable. Calibri brand, one of my favorites. Calibri at the top. And this whole thing is a huge fuel tank. And you just press down this button here, and you get your flame. Now this adjuster nozzle is very, very touchy. You can see how high it goes, and then bring it all the way back down. So, very reliable. One of my favorites. Especially since this thing never runs out of fuel, because it's literally like a, an entire tank. Next is the Bentley lighter. Made in Austria. Austria is really good at making lighters. I don't know, understand why. Um, but Bentley is the brand. This one's in really good shape. Patented USA. Cool thing about this lighter is just the internals. It's unlike anything you've probably seen a lighter. You got this really weird shaped fuel tank. This is the adjustment nozzle for how high the flame goes. And then you have this, which is the whole assembly. Um, putting another flint in is so weird too. You go like this, and then the flint is underneath that little lever that's moving in the cylinder here. So you lift that up, put a new flint in, and then let it come back down. And then that's how you get your tension for your igniter. Very different. So that goes like this and then just goes right back in your lighter. There you go. Very cool. Really good shape. And last, this is not working unfortunately, but I just love the history of this. This thing has just been sitting in some dude's drawer for I don't know how long when he decided to sell it. Chrysler lighter, regular butane, ten dollars and ninety five cents. Now that was back then. I don't know if it's if I'm being fooled into thinking that this is as recent or as old, I'm not sure. But you got this here, very nice. Doesn't work like I said. The um there's nowhere for the fuel to come out, unfortunately. This little barb here had been smashed so many times from coming back down that it you know being heated and then smashed kind of pinched the little the, the tube where the butane came out but it still has a lot of history to it you can see the Chrysler butane made in USA patent pending and then if you go a little deeper here's the box here's the directions Chrysler Butane, world's most magnificent. Oh yeah, great. And this thing is just so old. Like everything. Here's your guarantee. It's like, see back side form before returning your lighter for service. Like, this is so awesome to me. I don't know why. Um, I'll show you the inside because that's pretty interesting too. I could just get it. Sick, almost got it. There, there was like a vacuum. Here you have just some weird shit. This is your, it's literally just a snap. There's no screw. And you pull it up, and that's your spring, and that's where your flint goes. And then you literally just snap it in place. Here's your adjustment for your butane. And this, I think, is like a ball bearing. And that serves as your seal with a little o ring. And that's how you refuel it. And then you would just. I wish it still worked, but fortunately, I don't think there's much I can do about it. Maybe this uh, service guarantee still works. I'll send it back in 30 years later. So, really cool. Featuring the exclusive four times longer flint. Like this shit reminds me of Bioshock and like how everything was, you know, 
very retro. Uh, that's what I, I sort of. That's kind of why I like stuff like this. Just the way everything sort of steampunk made out of, you know, what they had and just the the antique style of advertisement. So one of my favorite things about this lighter, even though it doesn't work. That's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think. If you could give me any information on like the time frame and when these were made, that'd be cool. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.